Today, I've got five stock picks priced under $10 that I think are buys at these levels and lower. Now, I've been investing for almost 25 years in the stock market, and I've accumulated a multi-million dollar portfolio investing through growth. So I know a thing or two about what we call spec stocks. These are speculative investments. They can make you a lot of money. They're very high risk reward. Now, all five of these stocks, they touch AI in some capacity, machine learning and artificial intelligence. Not all five stocks are pure play AI stocks. A couple of them are and I'll explain as we go through. I'm excited to bring this one to you guys. Let's get started. The first stock pick, and these aren't in any particular order, is STEM Inc. Now the 52 week low on this was $5.72. The 52 week high was $18.02. It's trading at $8.63. None of these stocks are gonna have P ratio, so we're gonna look at price to sales and price to book. Market cap, it's a micro cap at $1.35 billion. Now you have to be careful with all these stocks. This one here, STEM Inc. has 15.77% short interest. Now that could make the stock go much lower at that short interest, or it could be rocket fuel that literally takes this stock into orbit. Their last earnings, they did miss by three cents. That's part of the reason why the stock's having some pressure. Now I did look at a chart for you guys, and this one could go a little bit lower. So definitely be careful. Dollar cost average, you're thinking long-term with all these stocks. So when I say long-term, I'm thinking five plus year holdings, and you're investing in speculative stocks really with the back. Basket. And if you're curious about what that means, there's other videos in the channel. So you can see the numbers here are somewhat mixed, but some of the revenue numbers are quite strong, 194%, 184%. If you look at the three-year revenue growth, about 42%, five-year revenue growth is about 23%. Looking at valuation, the price of sales is 3.72. It's a little bit lower than that right now, but about 3.7. The price of book is 2.45. So in case you aren't familiar with STEM Inc., STEM provides the battery systems and smart energy AI software called Athena that helps utilities and power consumers manage and optimize use. So what it's essentially doing is it's going to find the peak times and try to buy the electricity. In other words, charge the battery packs when the electricity is least expensive. So it's trying to optimize the use of that energy and maximize the ROI return on investment. So STEM did recently report earnings. This is fourth quarter 2022. You can see some strong numbers here. Revenue, 156 million. That's up 190. 94% year over year. Bookings up 111% year over year. Backlog up 116% year over year. Also a strategic partnership with ChargePoint. And this demonstrates continued EV momentum for STEM. From the financial perspective, fundamentally, it does have some work to do, but you can see that it is improving. They also had an acquisition recently of Also Energy, which I think could be big for their business. And I do have a deeper dive video of STEM on the channel that you can check out after this video is done. That video compares STEM versus Tesla and you want to check it out. Now the primary risk that I want to point out for STEM, and if you're in our private community, you saw that EV green energy video for the conference session. And we talked about this specifically, but STEM is buying their hardware from third party manufacturers, including Tesla. So it's really a white glove type service. Their only differentiator is Athena, which is their AI software. So this does have a SaaS recurring type model to it. But the risk of that is you look at it and say, hey, Tesla does something very similar to this can STEM do well on its own? Can they compete in that market against big companies like Tesla and others? And I think that is the risk. But here's the thing, the total addressable market or the TAM is massive for this space. And they do have some strategic partnerships and they have a different overall focus than Tesla does. Tesla isn't really known for its sales team, although they do have some salespeople that do the non-automotive side of the business, of course. But it is something to note as an investor that this company may not have a true moat. Now with that said, I do own a little bit as spec and I'm looking to add more to this if it goes lower. Check out STEM, the ticker is just S-T-E-M. Now, if you watch my top 10 AI stocks to buy video series, you know that Palantir was on that list. Now, Palantir can be the backbone for artificial intelligence and machine learning for companies and governments. This is the most expensive stock that we're gonna cover on the list of five, but for good reason, because this is a software as a service company, a SaaS company, so it relies on that recurring revenue. And with recurring revenue, you generally have a premium to the price of the stock. Now, there's certainly a risk with Palantir, and this is a very polarizing stock. You're either a bear or a bull. And 
And there are certainly issues to consider like stock-based compensation, valuation, and so on. But let me paint the picture for Palantir of why I think it's a good long-term investment. So Palantir got down to $5.84 in the 52-week low, the high in the 52-week high, $14.86. Now this is a mid-cap stock, about a $17.5 billion market cap. Short interest is 7.3%, and they did beat on their last earnings by a penny. Although if you dig into the last earnings call, it wasn't as great as it might have looked on the surface. Now with that said, Palantir is a direct listing and it went public October 2nd of 2020 at $9.20. It's trading at $8.26. That doesn't make it an automatic buy, but if you look at January 29th, 2021, this was a $35 stock and it's probably going to take some time to get back to $35. It was way ahead of itself and it was really in that meme stock basket, but this is not a meme stock. This is a legit company and at this price, of course, it's a more reasonable valuation, especially with the time to digest this over the last couple of years. Now, I really like this stock when it was around $6, but I do think it's a buy even at these levels today around $8 a share. But again, you're thinking as a long-term investor holding this stock for five or more years. Now, you can see some mixed numbers here for Palantir as, as well, but the earnings per share growth projected 235%. They were profitable for the first time in this last earnings report. But again, if you dig under the hood, it wasn't as sexy as it first looked at first glance. So based on Fidelity here, the PE for next year's estimate is a 35 Point one. Now that's not cheap, but for a SaaS type company with lots of excitement about the future as an AI backbone, this isn't unreasonable at $8 a share. Now, some of you are going to look at these next numbers and say, Eric, you're out of your mind. Price to sales ratio is just under a nine. Price to book is 6.71. And this company has been around for a long time. So I'm not here to pump this and say it's the next trillion dollar stock or anything like that. I do think it's an attractive long-term investment. When you think of software, you think of big data. My two favorite stocks really in big data that are publicly traded are going to be Snowflake and Palantir. Databricks will be on that list, but of course it's private. And with AI being all the buzz right now, Palantir Edge AI, it fits the bill and this is legit. So I'm not going to go into a lot of detail. This is right from their website. A generational shift in AI. Meet Palantir Edge AI featuring micro models, sensor fusion, continuous delivery, autonomous decision making, anywhere deployment. Businesses can embed Palantir Edge AI on sensors and cameras in manufacturing plants, robotic motion planning, remote sensing and queuing, predictive maintenance, autonomous navigation, drug compound screening, energy management, and so on. Commercial revenue is really gonna be the focus for growth. They've been in the government sector for a long time, and I've talked about this many times on the channel, but you can see this is uptrending nicely. The demand from customers for our platforms has in recent months gained additional momentum. It's significant part because of the accelerating embrace of artificial intelligence by companies across sectors and industries. We anticipate that this new source of demand will contribute to our growth moving forward above and beyond what we had anticipated even late last year. The widespread of adoption of artificial intelligence, AI, and civilian applications will come soon. In the military context, it has already arrived. Check out Palantir, guys. Ticker is PLTR. I already know what you're gonna say about this next stock pick, it's SoFi. And you're gonna say, wait a minute, that's not an artificial intelligence company. And although that's true, it's not focused primarily on AI. AI, artificial intelligence, and machine learning is definitely part of their business model, and I will explain. So SoFi is based in San Francisco, it's San Francisco. SoFi provides financial products, including student and auto loan refinancing, mortgages, personal loans, credit cards, investing in stocks, investing in ETFs, they have their own ETFs, crypto investing, as well as banking, both through their mobile apps as well as desktop. Now, SoFi uses machine learning, which is a form of artificial intelligence to identify new customers and to learn which products it should recommend to their customers. So SoFi's artificial intelligence and machine learning algorithms, they continuously optimize strategies to maximize results and automatically match payment offers to their customers. SoFi is trading at about a 3.75 price to sales, and the price to book is only only a 1.2, trading like a big bank. And although it's true they have a bank charter, this has really explosive growth and it has a lot of runway to grow over the next five years, in my opinion. Digging a little bit deeper, I told you guys on this channel that under $5 was a pound the table type of a moment for SoFi stock. And it got down in the 52 week range to $4.24. 52 week high, $10.57. It's trading right now around $6.50. This is a small cap around $6.25 billion 
billion on the market cap. Again, be careful, short interest, 8.9%. The last earnings for Q4, they beat by four cents. We love flywheels at Fired Up Wealth, and I'm gonna show you the SoFi flywheel. The SoFi strategy, financial services productivity loop. They wanna build a one-stop shop for financial services with best of breed products. Build a relationship of trust and reliability. Now these guys focus on the younger generations. You think of millennials and younger, that's their primary target audience. Not that they don't have other members as well. The marketing though is really driven to that age 40 and under age group. They also own something called Galileo, our financial services technology platform with attractive returns on path to create the AWS of FinTech, so Amazon Web Services of FinTech. So members, get their money right. You've got money, invest, personal loans, credit cards, home loans, student loans, you've got content, you've got convenience, fast, and selection. And cryptocurrency is also a part of their strategy as well. And I really do think that SoFi Stadium in Los Angeles, helping to bring awareness to their brand. The Los Angeles Chargers and the Rams both play at SoFi Stadium. And of course, there's huge venues there, music concerts and so on. And being in Los Angeles, I think it really put them on the map. It was expensive, but I think it's been worth it. So check out SoFi, guys. The ticker is S-O-F-I. This next stock is a community favorite. So in the Fired Up Wealth private community, we have a Patreon Discord, and many of our members have been buying this stock. Now, I also wanna remind you that I have a couple different tiers on Patreon. That lowest tier for $10 will allow you to see my buys. I usually buy every single week in the Fired Up Wealth community portfolio. You can join that by checking out patreon.com forward slash Fired Up Wealth. So every time I make a buy, I'm gonna share that with you real time. And right now, Rocket Lab, I have a limit order in, just under $4, but there's several other stocks that we're targeting. And if you're interested in that, go check it out. So this next stock, guys, is gonna be Rocket Lab. Now, Rocket Lab on the 52-week low did get down to three dollars and 48 cents and i do think it's possible this could get back below four dollars again the 52 week high was nine dollars and 49 cents it's trading at about four dollars and 44 cents small cap 2.1 billion dollars 6.36 percent short interest their last earnings just last week missed by one cent for q4 so in case you're not familiar with Rocket Lab, Rocket Lab is an end-to-end -end space company. They deliver launch services, spacecraft, satellite components, and on-orbit management. And you're thinking, well, how does Rocket Lab use artificial intelligence? Couple things. So they have employed reinforcement learning, or RL, and these approaches help cut down time for analysis. Additionally, Rocket Lab leverages machine learning and artificial intelligence technologies. So as an example, when you think of the remote sensing console that's going to use artificial intelligence and machine learning. It plans the satellite operations up in orbit. They also use it to run simulations to see how things are going to work and to see where things are needed. And here's a quote, optimizing resources is the real breakthrough for how we can apply these technologies, AI, to build more sustainable businesses in space. Now, Rocket Lab is actually pretty expensive. In fact, I think I told you pounds here is the most expensive. This is a 9.8 price to sales. Price to book is 3.1. So launch 2022 is their biggest year yet. 42 customer satellites deployed to precise orbits. 100% mission success. That's huge. Nine electron launches. Four missions for government customers across civil and defense. One successful mission to the moon for NASA. I bet you did not know that. So they're the second most frequently launched U.S. orbital rocket company annually behind SpaceX. And of course, SpaceX is a private company. You can't invest. This is the, the best company you can invest in that's focusing on launch when you think of space exploration type companies, space stocks. They had 32 launches, 152 satellites deployed as of December 31st, 2022. Now launching from three pads across the U.S. as well as New Zealand. Electron launched more times in 2022 than all other U.S. small launch providers combined. So this is really cool stuff, guys. I won't go through all this, but Rocket Lab is one of those companies where it could be huge. It could make you a 10, 20, 30x type of return. And there's no guarantees. Of course, the company go out of business, but I do own this. I've been buying it. I bought some just as early as last week. And I think if it gets, you know, if especially if it gets under $4 back in the threes, I think it's a nice flyer as a speculative investment. And of course, you have to be thinking long term, but check this one out, guys. Understand the risks. Make sure you hedge these. Don't buy, you know, 20% of your portfolio in them. You're generally, let's, for example, say you have a $100,000 portfolio. You might, based on your risk tolerance, say you want 10% spec. That'd be $10,000 and you might buy 10 stocks with $1,000 in each stock. That's how I would typically recommend playing spec investments, but you do what's best for your money.
Now, just last week on Friday, we did an exclusive video on Patreon, and I brought on three members from the community. We did a podcast. Each member shared between three and five stock picks for spec, spec investments. Now, this next stock, this last stock, this fifth stock is going to be one that was covered on that video. If you're interested in seeing that video, check out patreon.com forward slash fired up wealth. So I'm going to announce that fifth stock in a second. Before I do that, I need to announce that this video was sponsored by The Motley Fool. If you'd like to see the 10 best stocks to buy now, visit Fool com forward slash fired up wealth and again if you want to join our private community in our discord it's patreon.com forward slash fired up wealth the fifth stock pick is marketa so think digital payments and this is around a 3.9 price to sales the price to book is about 1.83 so it's getting pretty attractive where it's at now again this is also a high risk reward type company there is competition if you dig into this company though they have some great partnerships and they have really a strong investment thesis if if you really understand what the company is about. I don't own this stock, but I am looking into it more. And there's several members in the community that are very bullish on this, especially in the Discord community. So this stock is fairly new to me and I've done some homework and I've got some notes here and I'm gonna go through some of this. I'm also gonna look at some other numbers. So according to the CEO, they simplify complex infrastructure behind the scenes. Now this uses machine learning. Again, that's a form of AI, artificial intelligence. This company started over a plate of sushi in San Francisco with a buddy and the CEO buddy essentially dared him to create exactly what Marketa is. So when you think of legacy platforms, they were built on mainframes. And when you think of digital payments, the old mainframe model, it just doesn't work for today's era. It's very time consuming, very complex. So Marketa simplifies that old model in the cloud. So they created what they call modern card issuing. And this uses APIs. And if you don't understand APIs, it basically just connects the dots. It allows applications and other software to communicate with each other. Marketa really created a modern and frictionless payment system or platform. So for example, if someone orders food on an app or if someone receives a stimulus check on a credit card or a debit card, Marketa is the behind the scenes company doing all this and, and basically connecting the dots between different companies and relationships and software. So they're gonna work with the big credit card companies as well as Square, Instacart, Cash App, Uber, DoorDash, and more. As an example, DoorDash debit cards are used by Dashers, the people that deliver food from DoorDash to your front door. And they use something that's called tokenized red cards. It basically just simplifies transactions. This platform was built by developers for developers from the ground up. It's cloud native and API based or plugin based. So they have a full spectrum of cards Card processing solutions, and there's really three main areas. So issuing, that's gonna enable prepaid debit and credit cards, physical or virtual, handle the bank relationships, the credit card companies, and connects the dots between those different parties. Secondly, processing, transactions can be authorized with custom rules. So that can include something like a spending limit and so on. So this is just in time funding, and it really maximizes working capital. It also helps mitigate fraud. The third part is applications, and this covers the entire payments life cycle. Customers can monitor their balances, settlements, and so on in real time. And this is using bank grade encryptions and approvals. So the 52 week low on this was $4.27, 52 week high 1241. It's trading at $4.81, pretty close to that 52 week low. This is a small cap, about $2.7 billion market cap. Short interest, 4.88%. And in Q4 earnings, they beat by four cents. Now you can see they've run into some turbulent times recently and some of these numbers are negative. But if you look at, for example, the three-year revenue growth, that's 53%. And the five-year revenue growth is around 29%. And again, Marquette is under a four price to sales. It's about a 1.83 price to book. It's getting pretty attractive. And I think it's a good speculative investment at these levels and lower. So check out Marquette tickers MQ. If this video is helpful, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Click that bell for notifications. Drop me a like, drop me a comment. Appreciate your time and attention. Have a great rest of your day. Take care.